Just can't beat it. Now pitching for Wasika. Town Jewel. Number 18, Dakota Williamson. We've got a few windows busted out once in a while around here. <laughs> Let's go, Uriah! This is the first home game of the season. Woo! And the last game for seniors on the Wasika Blue Jays baseball team. And the community really came out. Hi, Mom. You know they're happy. Here we go, now. Go, Wasika! Oh. Hey, At one point during their game against Tri-City. You can't believe how bad I felt when I saw that, looked out my window and saw the thing in nothing but flames. Head coach Joel Hayford takes the mic to thank the crowd that showed up. Good to see all you people here today. The team didn't get a chance to play on this field this season. This is unexpected. Because someone burned down the grandstands last month. You know, I see, seen the flames inside the stand. Investigators believe it was arson. Yeah, it was sad. We got to watch the rubble sit here for quite some time. The town was devastated. You know, everybody was starting to get a little anxious, needed to move on. The city says they are committed to rebuilding the stadium. We've thrown out a number of, of 1.5 to 2 million, just awarded another $500,000 in our insurance claim. Oh! That uh, cushions the blow a little bit. But that, that's a lot of money for a town this size. In a town where baseball is intertwined in its very existence, Tonight's game brings great satisfaction to the players. Yeah, this is great. And their fans. This is great. It's yeah. such a wonderful place. There's so many memories that have been built here on this field by, by many, many boys over the years. In Wasika, Todd Wilson, 5 Eyewitness News.